STP reports must be generated in order to lodge. From the menu bar on the left, click on Reports, STP Payroll Events. A window on Prepare STP opens. Select the pay run frequency from the drop-down list. Enter the pay period start date. Since the pay run frequency is already selected, the end date gets prefilled. Select pay run event type from the drop-down. Since this is the first payroll event for the employee OPRA for the month of July 2018, select payroll event. Update event is used to report changes to employee year-to-date amounts previously reported to the ATO. Any changes made to reported employee data for the prior financial year must only be submitted through an update event. Enter the payment date and click on Run Report. The existing records of pay run during the specified pay period appears. Select the employee for whom the payroll reporting must be done. You can also view the payroll by clicking on View button. After checking the required details, you can close that screen. Click on that checkbox of that employee record and click on Generate Report. You can check the Reporting Info and Employees section. The next step is declaration where as an employer you must assure that the information to be lodged is correct. Before making a declaration, check for possible errors by clicking on Errors icon on the top of the screen. It is a good practice to check for errors and correcting it before making a declaration. Once the information is verified, check that box that has the declaration statement and click on Validate. Check for errors again. This is a step before lodgement. The saved reports screen appears, where you can see your report in valid status.